principle number three is based on the organization structure. Projects are always delivered by people. Some assigned full-time and others part-time, normally from across a variety of functions and thus skills and organisations and thus cultures. Success depends on the right people in the right roles who know what is expected of them and their colleagues, agree to it and have the skills needed. The organisation principle requires that roles and responsibilities and reporting lines be defined and agreed, harmonise the interests and priorities of the sponsors, the users and the suppliers and that these are defined and agreed between role holders. Principle number four is that a PRINCE2 project is planned, monitored and controlled on a stage-by-stage -stage basis to provide management with decision points at key events. A stage is a defined period of time and other constraints during which the project management team has authority within defined tolerances, as we'll see in the fifth principle. At each stage boundary, the project's business case and plans and risks are reassessed for viability and a conscious decision made to stop or proceed. The choice made during initiation of how many stage-based reassessments are conducted and when they are conducted allows project control to be matched to the complexities of the result, the skills of the participants, the risks involved and the project's priority. More shorter stages give more control but impose more overhead costs to prepare decision support materials and hold the decision making project board meetings. A PRINCE2 project always has an initiation stage and at least one delivery stage. The use of stages enables creation and occasional refresh of a long term outline project plan plus creation of short term detail stage and team plans. Tiered plans avoid wasting effort on attempts to plan in detail that is beyond a sensible planning horizon. Each tier of plans matches a level of detail and duration that is manageable and foreseeable and appropriate to a level of management within the organisation.